<laughs> I like the lights out here. <laughs> Changing formats of songs because literally my songs have been so long lately and all the feedback I get in class is like it's a great song but it doesn't need to be five minutes like <laughs> it's a really long song <laughs> and I'm like well I've been playing kirtan and those songs are like 40 minutes and you have to build up the intro for at least five minutes so of course it's gonna be at least five minutes what do you want from me like this is gonna be a long ass song you don't have to listen to it but it's gonna be long and we should all make long songs. No one wants these three minute like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. People are tired of that shit. Boring. Where, where's the build up? Where's the bass drop? <laughs> where's the dubstep? Where's the... <laughs> <laughs> these beans are on sale now on our website. What else is going to be on the website, Robert? One dollar. <laughs> <laughs> it only costs... One dollar. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should probably get going soon, though. Okay. We gotta go. Last time I was in this van, summer of 2021, there was nothing in it. She had stripped the, sheet, the chairs out of the back and it was just metal, but we loved it anyways. And anytime we would drive somewhere, we would just lay on the mattress and fall over every time she turns because she's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's changed so much. We've, been, we, we, we've come to so far made tea all the way in the van like how are you gonna heat up water in a van and how are you gonna have water in a van in the first place yeah it's pretty psychotic it's really anybody who does that is really insane actual fucking psycho well yeah the van when i bought it it was used as a disability van but it was clearly before that um just like a passenger van it was a conversion van by mark three i think is the brand so this is a 1989 Chevy G20, and it had only like three rows of seats back here on this half. But then that half, they had already removed them for a wheelchair lift and then a place where you could strap the wheelchair in. And I bought it from a man, and he said that the previous owners had garage kept this van um, for like pretty much in its entire lifetime until the guy bought it and he had it outside for three years. So in those three years it had like started to get some paint peeling and mice were living in here. It just smelled weird mm -hmm. and like the windows had been leaking. So it was it was time to rip everything out when I got it. And it was really hard um, taking out the hydraulic lift and then they left like holes in the side of my van so I actually had like holes for a little while that I just put tape over <laughs> it was pretty janky and then I learned how to use fiberglass to cover that up and then Bondo to cover the holes from the outside like I use fiberglass on the inside Bondo on the outside and then I eventually painted over the whole van so you can't really tell anymore 
There was a lot of work to be done and you couldn't stand in here. It was very short. So once we um, like ripped everything out, fully gutted it, then I had a friend of mine cut out the roof that was existing and then weld um, one foot sheet metal around it with it had supports in it as well, steel supports. And then we added a roof from another van. There's a lot of work put into this vehicle just to get it to the point of like like spray foam insulation and in, uh, doing the wiring. Yeah. Oh, said that. Oh, wow. But whenever it was just empty in here, I was like, look, this is great, Groovy. Like, we don't need anything else. We can sleep in it. It's great for sleepovers because when she first got it, she pulled up to the basketball court by my house and was literally on the verge of a panic attack. She was like, Rosie, I can't believe I've spent like $3,400 on this piece of shit junk. Like, <laughs> my whole family's against me. They don't, they think it's crazy. It's a waste of money. And I should just sell it right now. Like, just give it back. And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, my family, they were begging me to sell it. They were like, you know, kind of threatening me. And they were very mad, and they were like, this is the dumbest idea ever, you're going to get, like, robbed and murdered, and it's going to be awful, and, like, how stupid of an idea. And I remember being, like, I don't even think I was able to drive yet. And I went up to my family, and I was like, for my first car, I want a van. I want, like, a VW bus. I was like, please, 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 I don't want a car. I don't, like, I don't want, like, a sedan. I want a van. And they were like, no, that's ridiculous. I did not get my van then. But when I did, it was definitely all hell to be raised. Mm -hmm. And also, all of our friends that we met through also didn't support and thought it was crazy. Like, we met through this group of friends who were, you know, very against just, like, our creativity, our lifestyle. Groovy had told me the summer that we became friends that they said, like, my music was shit and that, like, we're just so crazy and, like, we hang out with boys too much <laughs> like just like as friends like just hanging around boys they're like we don't want that for you honey so when Groovy and I became friends we kind of like realized that wasn't really the right environment to be in and then the following year was 2020 which is when we <laughs> had a little epiphany and more about friends and then I bought my van <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so I bought my van at in November 2020 and at first like you said I was like freaking out I had no idea what I was doing I was also like really broke yeah. <laughs> so I was like how the hell are we gonna do this and we were like we're gonna rough it out we're gonna put like big water jugs in the back and we'll just like lay out a mattress yeah. and we'll have like a camping stove and we'll just like rough it we don't need you're like we were just like we need to get out of this town like yeah. any way to just leave and you're like yeah we'll we'll like we don't need to get rid of the roof yeah <laughs> and i was like no you need to be able to stand in here <gasps> there's so many things where groovy was like i need to have this and this and this and i was like you don't need all of that like that's so you don't need to go that far and then she does it and i'm like damn it's that was my necessary. yeah my man is super extra but <laughs> <laughs> it's just like i love it why not? Mm -hmm. And it's taken four years, we're on year four of this van build, but the more I do it, the more I'm realizing like little things that you do need. And I, because we've had times where we've roughed it out and yeah, camped in it. Yeah, our first camping trip. Yeah, our first camping trip was like her birthday and it rained really hard one day and the window started leaking and it like, it was summer so it got really hot in here and like we didn't have the fan and just like, Little things like that, the more you stay in the space before you build it out, yeah. the more you learn of what you need. And so now I have like my water filtration, which is reverse osmosis. And that's so nice because you're putting random tap water in your van all the time, city to city, the water changes. It's just nice to have like a steady supply of water, fresh drinking water, and you don't have to carry around an extra jug. I like that. Um, then I also learned having a stove is super necessary. I actually roughed it out again in Florida and I had a camping stove in here and the propane it um, was like leaking because it was a 70s <laughs> camping stove. It was super cute but yeah it was leaking propane in here and I was like in here with my boyfriend and we were like oh my god we're feeling kind of dizzy and we opened up the doors and we're like we could have fucking died. Damn. Like that was before the fan worked or anything so there was just like we had the doors 
kind of cracked open, but it wasn't enough. So yeah, that was really terrifying. Um, yeah, just these little things like, and now I have an induction cooktop. I don't have to worry about propane again. And I know a lot of people are like, ah, pro propane, like it's so easy to fill up, blah, blah, blah. And I totally get that. But at the same time, just after that experience, and I've had like several other sketchy propane experiences, I'm just okay. So if you've seen my other video about my New Year's, um, or like not really resolution, but my vision board, I want to finish the van. So that is step one, but I also want to travel in it. So I want to go to Colorado and see Crested Butte and the Blue Lakes. And that's honestly really my goal besides like being out in nature more and getting better at foraging for you? Um, well, the next five years, I'm really just aiming to cultivate. You're doing five years or one year? Well, okay, well, the one year is to finish the van and to well, go I mean to Colorado. For you. Well, for me, I mean, I just need to finish school, and then, then that goes into the next five years, which yeah. is just cultivating, like, an online international community, and getting to the point where we can actually go on tour with the van. Robert is gone, but this time I really want her to come back because I really love my Groovert and I have loved making this video with her because we haven't made a video in too long. The last time we made a video I think it was a music video. We've made that, we've made another attempt of a music video. We've made short films in our acting class in high school, but this one is my favorite one so far because it represents a whole journey to come. This van is the most beautiful I've ever seen it. Let me see if it's recording. Okay, all good. This is the most beautiful we've, I've ever seen the van and all of the future videos that we make that are a part of this series where we talk to you and we share our story and we share our visions for the future is going to continue into the future into so many places. This van here that we're making videos in right here right now, sooner or later in the series, we're going to be all over the fucking place doing the craziest shit. And if we make these videos every week, like I hope we do, those videos are going to be full of crazy shit. Like, all the shows. Because my music is on Spotify right now, if you want to get started. Rosie Jones. But all the shows we'll have, not just for me, but for all of our f beautiful friends. Who are another re part of the reason I'm in New York, away from my, my heart and my soul right here. Is so that I can figure out the special sauce and make sure each one of our friends is perfectly well off and that includes y'all. So just know the sauce you pour in will be poured right back to you. <laughs>